Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're going to be building a filter and this could possibly be the easiest filter that you will ever ever make. It is by far the best biological filter that I, I have ever made and it's the easiest. It's also 100% shrimp safe which is super super important, okay? Now I've already built a few of these, you may have seen them in previous videos and uh, it's taken me a while to get to this version of the filter and it's more or less near the version I started with at the very 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 beginning and um, this is going to be the basics of it okay your substrate or your media that you're going to use um, is going to have to be on a decent size Th these ones I picked deliberately this is alga frog off of grog or whatever it's called and these are quite big uh, pieces and that is quite important because uh, when you put your media into something like this you will see there's lots of guts okay I want this as a biological filter it is not a mechanical filter so it doesn't matter if things go into the media so to speak okay and this is doubly important with a shrimp filter because we want the shrimp to be able to go into the media if they want like you see them do in your gravel and we also want them to uh, be able to get back out again. Now this design is uh, super super simple. It's basically a juice bottle like the one here and uh, to get the size of your filter basically you're going to stick it next to your tank like this measure halfway up and that is where you're going to cut across. So I'll just pull this label off really fastly because I've already done a few of these so it's quite easy for me to do this you then, uh, once you have marked halfway up your tank, you're going to want to cut the bottle in half. And the, way, the easiest way to do this is just to squeeze the bottle like so, and then cut across. I always cut a little bit further up because uh, you can tidy it up a little bit after this. Okay, and then you see the edge, it looks a little bit uneven. So what you want to do here is you go to the low point, like this, and you cut around in a circle and try and do it level. Okay, okay, is it looking good? It's getting there. So this is by far the easiest filter I've ever made. And basically this is the body of it. Now if you have this sticky residue here, it's like the glue they use to stick labels on, um, what you can use to take this off is a thing called uh, mineral spirits. I use it on my boat, it is pretty uh, good, it doesn't smell like white spirits or anything like that. You clean it off, use a rag, put some uh, mineral spirits on it, clean all the gunk off, all this stuff, and um, give it a good clean with some washed up liquid, and you will end up with one like this. Super clean, and the correct size, okay? So that is the filter body. And then you're going to need a piece of PVC pipe. Now this one here I have is 16 mil in diameter. I don't think it really matters what diameter you use. And it's the same technique again, right? So you have your, your filter like this against your tank. It is halfway up the tank. What you're going to want to do is measure your uh, pipe like so. Three quarters of the way up the tank. Okay, and then you want to cut it near the bottom. Get the idea? And this is what you will end up with. There's a pipe like this. Okay. And then to make this into a filter, all you have to do is drill some holes in the bottom. Like so. Uh, the drill I used for this was uh, five millimeters. I'm going to use a slightly bigger one for this hole because this is the one where your air supply is going to go into. Now this, this is so simple, this filter, uh, that you will not need an air stone, anything like that. Um, if you want the filter to be a little bit quieter, you might want to put uh, an air stone, air stone in here, but it doesn't matter to me, so... This is basically what you do. And once you've drilled your holes, it's important that you drill quite a few in the bottom because it's going to sit like this in the filter, guys, okay? Like this. And the basics behind this is, is the air will go through uh, the tube here at the bottom and rise and it will suck in water over this edge and into the filter through all the media and through those little holes. Okay, another tip I can give you here as well is if uh, a lot of you guys will know to use sandpaper and stuff on this to clean up the edges. I found something uh, that I could use that is uh, 
uh, to my opinion, it makes a much, much better uh, finish is this stuff. It is like um, the stuff you use for scrubbing pots. Pot scrubber is basically what it is, the metal one. And you put this over the part that you want to clean up and give it a couple of turns like this. And I'm not kidding, the finish on it is like a finish where you would uh, do it with like a bought piece of, of uh, pipe cutter, for example. Not good. This part's a little bit lumpy here, but it's good. It's much better than it was if it was just a hacksaw. So do that, guys. The next process here is you're going to want a piece of air tubing, like so, because this is going to go through uh, this hole here. Okay, it's going to go up through this hole. But here is where the magic is. You're going to put a tiny knot in the air tube because this is going to secure your air tube inside the filter. Okay, you don't need this big tag piece on the end, so you can cut that off. And then here, you're going to want to cut a couple of notches in this air line. Not all the way through, about halfway is as much as you want to go. And put a couple in, because if one blocks, the air will go through another one. Okay, so I like to put in three or four, like so. You can see that, that's not going to come apart. And then you take um, the other end and you push it through the large hole and you want this line to go in and down through like that basically. So let's hope this goes in first time the right way. So there you go, it's going in. Just keep on threading it through until it comes out the very end here. Now this is a super, the easiest filter I think I've ever made. And the reason, reason I'm going for filters like this as well is because I think it's vitally important that you give your shrimp as much biological filtration as possible. This one gives a lot of filtration. So you end up with something like this. Okay, and then this end will get plugged into your air pump. You follow? You dig? You dig? I'm going to try and get a little bit closer so I can put the meter in here so you can see. So you put your tubing like so, kind of center it, and then use uh, your media and just suck it in. Now I've already made a couple of these already, and they're, they're working quite well. What I really like about them is, is the fact that the shrimp can go in and they can come out really, really easily because there's no areas in here to trap them. Like if you would have seen one of my earlier videos, I did a video where um, I made a filter and there was a little chamber at the bottom and when the air stopped going in, that chamber was a death trap. Let's see if I can pour this in without spilling too much of it. See, come on. And I want to fill this up as much as possible. And give it a little bit of bang to move all the media down. Fill up again. So I got this quite cheap off eBay, this Algo Frog. Alpha Grog, I keep on calling it the wrong name. But if you can get something like uh, Lava Rock, I suggest you go for that because Lava Rock is probably better than this. You can only you can only use what you can get, so this is what I could get. Let's see Put those bits in like so. Is that good enough for you guys, do you think? And there it is. There is the filter. Now this will go and sit somewhere in the back of your tank. Now the air will travel down through this pipe as I mentioned. It will come out of the bottom here, then go back up the inside of this pipe. And with that, the, the water supply will be pulled in over all of this media. And that's why I love it, because uh, the, all this media is quite porous. You will get a lot of um, beneficial bacteria colonizing this. You will also get shrimp going over this and eating things off the, the media. Okay, so it does quite a few things. You want to have a look in the tanks at the ones I built before, I think so. Proof's in the pudding, isn't it guys? So there you go, I'll probably use this part as my thumbnail. Just get a nice little shot here. Wow, look at that, a lovely filter. Let's see what it looks like in the tanks, guys. So here's one I built, this was one of the first ones I built. This was like a, a test one. I made the pipe on this a little bit too long. 
You only want to make the pipe about a third of the way up. I made mine almost to the surface. And uh, there'll be a nice flow of air and water going over that media. Well, not air technically, but you, you know what I mean. There will be oxygen in the water that goes over the media. It will be feeding the bacteria. There's one in here also, but it's further behind the back. So there you go guys, there is my super super simple, ultra safe, uh, shrimp friendly filter. I hope that's been of use to some of you. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's video. Remember guys to go and check out my um, links in my description, my affiliate links to the shrimp farm etc, my Facebook and my Instagram. I love you all. Happy shrimp giving guys. Bye.